She's hard to get started. She's always so cold. In the mornings I find her. She's looking so old. So many miles. We've been down that road once or twice. She's not much to look at when we ride through town. But I know when the chips fall, she won't let me down. She knows when to run, and she don't run around on her man. She's a high flying lady. She takes me where I want to be. There's no other woman standing between her and me. I'll always be faithful and keep her till the end of time. God knows I'll always love that old pan-headed man. I've seen fancy dressers. They've caught my eye. I've rode 'em to ride 'em and told 'em goodbye. I've flirted with low riders, posters, and shovel heads too. I've cussed her and beat her and kicked her to just get her started a couple of times. I think I'm crazy, but I love that pinhead of mine. She's a high-flying lady. She takes me where I want to be. There's no other woman standing between her and me. I'll always be faithful. I keep her till the end of time. God knows I'll always love that old pinhead of mine. God knows I'll always love that old pinhead of mine. God knows I'll always love. Well, I hope you all turned that up for that little intro. But uh, welcome to the first of hopefully about six of these lives um, that we will do right before Daytona Bike Week of uh, 23. Um, so we have uh, a special guest. Uh, he's, he's he's pretty much almost local to the Daytona uh area there and has been to the bike week many, many times. And I wanted to pick his brain and ask him questions. And, and, uh, so let's get right to it. We have the one and only rat Fink, Ron. Ron, can you hear me? Yes, I can. How's everybody doing? Man, we're doing great. I also got Gary in the background. <laughs> He's, uh, we've been kind of, um, uh, tinkering uh i added him as an admin so he's been he's been making comments on the side here as me <laughs> so <laughs> we've been cracking up about that but uh <laughs> anyway yeah I'm, i know you uh earlier you said you may not uh you may or may not been able to make it so well, i seen you post a thing and it said eight o'clock and i was like well i can't do eight i don't think but then right i remember um I think when I asked you, you, you said you, you'd like to do it earlier, and we said yes. six. So, yep. Well, we we won't try to be too long, you know. Um, I just wanted to, you know, pick your brain about, you know, Daytona Bike Week. I know, like, it seemed like it was like this last year. Like, you know, we're, what, seven weeks out, and yep. you can barely get any info of, um, like, bike shows or concerts or anything that's going on there, and – I know, and and, and it, you know it's it's it, it's kind of, I, I don't know why they do that. I mean, I think maybe something to do with storms. Maybe I don't know, but people. Well, it was like that last year. Everything. It was yeah. like that last year. 
And you know, like Sturgis has already announced bans. You know, yeah. and it's you know why, why do we wait? You know, till four weeks or whatever before they decide to do that. You know, wow. so I don't they know. Coming for you. Well. <laughs> Yeah, you, you, you know, it's just partying is all it is. I well, mean, I know, just, but still, I mean, people like to, you know, know information. I mean, I got a few little right along the beach, and I mean, yeah. people say there's no riding. There's riding. You can just fucking get on 95 or A1A and just ride that son of a bitch from coast, you know, back and forth. It's long. Florida's freaking long. Shoot, well, that's another thing. People should come up to St. Augustine. You get bored of that. I mean, you see Daytona. It's like Daytona, you know? Right up to St. Augustine. Right. You come see St. Augustine. There's tons of shit to do. There's plenty of things to see. Yeah, that's what I, you know, um, was wanting to pick your brain about because I know you've been there so many times that mm -hmm. I've only been there once and, you know, I'm, I've probably not done everything, but I mean, um, obviously not done everything. Um, well, how far do you live from Daytona? I'm like 70 miles. 70 miles? Uh-huh. North. Okay. St. August. Oh, so St. Augustine. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, I mean, Yeah. So I mean, uh, so I got I got about five or six questions here. I wrote down during the week because I was wanting to um, pick your brain. Like, how long have you been going? Since eighty three was my first one. Since eighty three. Yeah. Man, so you're working on about forty. Is that yeah. right? Well, I missed a few here and there. I didn't get every one. I missed a few. But so you yeah. you do um, is that the same as like doing the the Biketober? October was the Biketoberfest Bike 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 They didn't have that. It's been around what twenty nine years. Oh, okay. So, well, and, and things have changed. I'm, I'm assuming over the last forty years of them, oh, them doing it. It was a boot hill. I said everyone went to the freaking boot hill. That was the thing to do. Was it? Boot hill. Yeah, that was it. Is that, is that on Main Street or is, that, or is there a different one? Main Street. Okay. Main Street, yep, on the West End. Um, okay. Um. Well, I mean, I know that people might be wondering about, uh, um, you know, because you know they had the hurricane coming through and you had some bad weather on the east side over there after that. Um, what do you know about the cleanup? Is well, I was there a couple of weeks ago, so there was a lot of crap lying around. There was a lot of hotels being worked on, but there's a lot of hotels that are being redone that have been been on, you know, been working on for a while, for years. So it's like, you know. Stay mm -hmm. tuned for you. They're constantly doing something. But uh, you should be able to find a place there. I mean, I don't see why. Who cares about the hotels? I mean, as long as they got some rooms and then we got Daytona to ride and they got the bars. That's what it's all about, going up and riding all the bars. and right. riding. You can't take that away. I mean, it's right. always going to be something to do. But that's Daytona for you. It's you know it's more partying than riding. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I kind of figured that last year. I mean, you only have what the loop or whatever you can ride around in, and yeah, I mean it's okay, but it isn't all that. Like or just ride up and, what is it? A one A there? You can ride up and down or whatever. Right, right. Yeah. But you always go to Port Orange. Port Orange is good too. You go it's just south, south, south of Daytona, and they got like the last chance, the last resort where that lady killed that all those guys. I you heard about that? that last year. Was that, yeah, that, that, last year, that yeah. place is pretty cool. That place is pretty cool. And then the New yeah. Smyrna, they got tons of places in New Smyrna where you can go. Huh. And uh, a lot of bars up through there. Um, but shit, you know, it's a good time. It's all about just having a good time. I don't go on Main Street too much. If I do, I hang out at Main Street Station and maybe we'll hit Froggies. I'll hit every place, but if I hang anywhere, I'll be at Main Street Station. I hate to be inside all the time. I like to be outside. Right. So it's kind of cool because that place you kind of can sort of be inside, you know what I mean? But then you're outside, so, you know, you're getting air, you're breathing, you know what I mean? I can't handle so many cigarettes, man. I'm like, all right, I got to get out of this little place. Like when you sit inside the Iron Horse, inside the bar, you ever sit inside that place? Inside well, the bar in the front? No. I'm, well, let's see. It's rough, man. We, all, when I was there, the only thing I seen was the – um, I think they had a gift shop there on the right, and then they had like a little tiny bar area right in the middle. It's the, the main the main place is right there where they park the motorcycles in the front. It's like a wooden picket fence. That's the main inside bar. They got a couple pool tables in there. Ah, oh, see, I didn't even go in there. It's probably it's so packed during bike week or Biketoberfest. You you can't even get in there because it's just a little place. Yeah. 
Well, like, yeah, you go well, there, I'm right there it. it's open. That's that's why that's why I have you on here because you can help me and many other people know maybe what I've missed. Because I was only I was down there for six days and and you know you're not going to be able to do everything in six days and and always looking for something new and something better than you know. I mean, basically all I did was down there is bounce back and forth between um, Cackleberry and over there near Iron Horse, which mm -hmm. uh, the Broken Spoke and the Main Street and um, the, uh, the the Speedway. And I think one of the last days I went to uh, Destination. But other than that, I mean, I, I think I rode the Loop too. But uh, and then I went to the the bike. Uh, burning bike um, yeah it's in the land yeah other than that i mean you know well you can go south of there it's a thing you can go south there and hit port orange there's tons of places in port orange there's bars up and through there all that i wrote a few down even uh shit i even yeah, i'm glad you did that <laughs> yeah. all right you got the last resort bar that was the one where that lady killed all those guys you probably saw it on news they killed her it's a big thing you go there you got a whole shrine of her it's kind of strange um, last resort they got they got drinks named after her. Really? Last yep. Resort Bar in Port Orange. Yep. And then the Dog House. Can't forget the Dog House. I think I've heard of that. Yep. We got the midget wrestling over there. and It's, it's well, a cool I mean, bar. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a cool bar, though. And is that in Port Orange also? Yep. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then let me see what else they got. They got the boat bar, which is pretty cool. I guess big old boat, like the house made out of a boat. It's kind of cool. It's a nice little place. Yeah. So if if you as many times have you been down here? Mm hmm. Um. I'm actually skipping some of my questions here that I <laughs> because if you if you had to. If you was going to bike week mm -hmm. and there was only one thing that you could do, and you probably have done it many, many times that you've been there and you said, I absolutely have to do this no matter what, what is it? Good Lord, man. Oh, man. You got me. I was going to send you that question last week. <laughs> wow. Heck, I don't know. Just that, I mean, that might be a good sign because if it's, if it's, it's, if it's all that good, then yeah because you can't be locked down at one place because then it's just right no i, I don't know well, I, I mean hard. like Sturgis of me is topless tuesday all right i mean you know i mean i have right. to go <laughs> you know right. and i think uh you know gary on here i think well he would agree but <laughs> i thought that but, place is going kind of downhill for you guys huh well not I mean, really <laughs> not for me <laughs> but so you, you you really can't put your finger on one thing and you say, dude, I have to do this every time I go. I can't. I can't. You can't. So what about? It's all uh, the same. You know what I mean? They're all fun. They're all good places. They're all fun time. You know what I mean? So if, okay. I just can't say, yeah, I want to go to that one. But I'm like, damn, I want to go to that one. But, you know, you think about all the different things and you're like, well, you just got to go to them all. You just got to go gotta, to all of them. Yeah. So with that, would uh, what would be your the favorite things to do during Bike Week? I know you listed a couple of the bars here, and I know there's basically you're going to go from bar hopping pretty much. Probably drink. Just drink. <laughs> yeah, yeah drink. With, uh, I mean, resort we, and out. we barbecue out. You know what I mean? I bring my smoker. We smoke out and stuff like that. So and that, you do that at you, you yeah. probably do that at uh, Cackleberry. Yep. Yep. I bring my smoker out there and, you know, we load up, bring a trail with all my shit. It's like a whole big fest out there. And that was one of my questions is where's the real party at? I'm imagining it's probably Cackleberry. Yeah, I would think so. Definitely. It's Listen, it, it all depends because sometimes it's a pain in the ass, man, because people don't shut the fuck up and you want to go to sleep. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just three yeah. in the morning and some fucking knucklehead next to you is fucking just revving his bike up off the rev limit and it's just popping. You're like, you know what, man? I had enough of this shit. You know what I mean? You're ready to get some sleep. <laughs> you know, right. Shit like that. But, you know, and they're not ready to go to sleep. They're at Cackleberry. They're ready to fucking party the next day. So, right. Well, yeah, it, so it sounds like... Uh... Times there's other places. There's a, there's a campsite right past... Um, destination 
and it's I think it's called I can't remember the damn name holiday something but it's a really nice campground quiet really nice plus to have a uh, sewer too so you don't have to pay 30 they, you know that cackleberry hits you 35 dollars every time you got to dump your shitter yeah 35 dollars mm -hmm. whack you know what i mean then you got to tip the guy 10 bucks and you know because if you don't you'll never you'll never see him again there's oh, things you got a prop cackleberry's fun but you're gonna have its problems and you get some fucking knucklehead over here that's driving this freaking camper and wipes out a row of water things guess what you got no water for I you have some my tomorrow and if you screwed up and didn't i used as soon as you get there fill up your tank in your rv because someone somewhere along the line that water is going to be shut off because someone's going to wipe it out guaranteed <laughs> it's guaranteed to happen wow what do you well, like i'm glad i don't happen? stay there then <laughs> it happens i want to i'm going to get to some of these comments real quick see if i can catch up on them um Try to get right through them real quick. Hey, ZZ, glad you're in here, man. Um, Gunner, uh, I guess you guys seen that, uh, heard that song that I played at the beginning. Yeah, I, I, I was going through trying to find some uh, uh, something Daytona wise to, to have during these uh, lives I'm doing on Daytona. And wouldn't you know it? The one and only uh, David Allen Coe pops up with a couple of motorcycle songs. So, got to do it. Yep. <laughs> um, by the way, if you <laughs> wait a minute, you're changing them on me there. <laughs> by the way, Gary, if you didn't know already, uh, G Rad is, he's admitting, admitting, or what do you want to call it? Admin, admin, um, and he has control. He can he can go in here and make comments. And for some reason, he, he I probably got to work this out, but he can comment under my name. <laughs> Watch him build a fence. Yeah. I think Zz is on here. Um, yeah, Zz is on. Yeah, looking for a place to put my head at night. Yeah, I think. Um. Who's the cherry boy? Not a cherry boy anymore. I think I all know. I have is tent camping at uh, Cackleberry's now. Tent camping and dry RV camping. Good. Uh, ZZ says, it's good to see you, Rat Fink. You too, ZZ. Willie, he just says dot. Hey, Willie. Um, just type in uh, StreamYard. It should pop up in your Google. Get my cackleberry shirt. Get my cackleberry shirt on. Yep. And ZZ, me, me and ZZ, um, I know we're going to talk at another live uh, at some point here in a couple weeks probably, but um, he, he lives about three and a half hours from me south. Um, kind of on the way, but kind of maybe off the beaten path just a little bit, but it ain't too bad. Um, so we've, we've been talking about heading down there together. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's too cold. Uh, Gunner wants to know, of all the fun you had, what did you enjoy best? Hmm. I always enjoy cackleberries and cabbage patch myself. I just kind of hang out there where the outlaws hang out where they used to anyway. Now it's kind of. I'm watching Gary on my side making hand gestures. So you got to excuse my laughing every now and then. <laughs> All right. What's up, Larry? Uh, let's see what we got. ZZ. So, <laughs> so have you i know you said you've been to sturgis once um uh Raph Fink, you uh did, did you did you happen to go to the side hack when you was there went to the side hack the yep. upstairs the upstairs yep. part yeah so 
Uh, Maybe it was the stone house, actually. I just like the whole atmosphere of driving out there and you went going underneath house. the road. Yeah, the stone house saloon. But G uh, ZZ wants to know if, if there is a place kind of like the side hack uh, at Bite Week. Mm, not really. Uh uh. No. Okay. We got little dumps, little small little places. Yeah. They're all little small places. What's up, Jim? Slim Jim. Yeah, we, yeah, we're talking about the loud noise and all the way, you know, all night long. And yeah, so to me, it sounds like either Buffalo Chip or yep. um, what's the other one over there? I'm drawing a blank right now across the street. Um, anyway, a uh, couple, another all nighter place over there. The good thing about cackleberries is there's always, you don't have to, I mean, you can just hang out camper and if you want to get a little tipsy you can you can stumble on over a few hundred feet and you're right in front of everything and you just come back you know you're fine you don't have to drive nowhere or nothing there's always something going on <laughs> he's going to have a flask on his hip <laughs> what's up highway vixen thanks for for dropping in i appreciate you Glenco, yeah that's the other one thanks gary <laughs> Um, I'm getting, I, I keep jumping down to the bottom. Triple D, it's been a while. Port Orange. Port Orange, Florida. It's been a while, Triple D. I'm glad to see you. It's almost been too long. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. Cherry boy. Well, I, I my cherry was popped last year, but I still don't know what the hell's going on down here. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I got Rafik here. He can help everybody out. Uh, uh, Vicky, yes. Um, I, I know I put a, a little promo out about 8 p.m. Um, and I know that uh, Rafik got back with me. He wanted to know if I could do it earlier, which is, I said, no problem. Um, oh, and, my fault. No, 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 no. So it, um, I'm just going to say it now because, um, you know, here at like 8.15, you know, I'm going to be watching the football game. You know, I got to watch my Bengals. So, and um, so as they, if they continue in the playoffs, I mean, I'm talking about eight o'clock at, you know, at, at night for the rest of them, I may have to get on here and say, you know, we might have to have it earlier because I don't know what time they're going to play. So this is actually, a good time for me too to do this at six because we'd probably been having a 15 minute video at eight o'clock if we would have <laughs> scheduled it for eight <laughs> or I'd be doing this the whole time <laughs> you know so um for no, yeah you know what you know what I did I forgot my beer I usually got my beer I didn't open it up right I, I was too busy playing my video <laughs> well he's here Right on Cackleberry, Glencoe. Yep, yeah, let's get on down here. That's the last one. All right, we are. Yes, we are. We're all going to get together. We, there's um, there's a few of us. Um, I know you're going to be over there, Raf Fink, uh, myself, ZZ. We'll be down there. Um, we are going to have uh, Highway Vixen is going to be there. Uh, we're going to have Darren's Harley vlog will be there. Let's see. Um, Dave from uh, Dave's Crazy Trailer is going to be there, and Lone Star is going to be there. Um, you know, and a lot of those guys are going to be on here over the next couple of weeks, and we're going to be talking about different things. Fremont. What does my Daytona blueprint look like? Well, I don't think I have, for me personally, um, anything set in stone yet. I think that me and ZZ, are, we were talking about staying at Crazy Horse Campground. I stayed there last year. Um, it's dirt cheap. Um, no electric. And... You know, it's it, it's a quiet campground also, and it's kind of like right in the middle. It's by the flea market. If anybody knows, they don't have no electric there. 
I thought they had a well, few. There left. is. There is. If you if you want to get a site with electric. Okay. But it's going to cost uh, for seven nights because I'm going to get there on a Saturday and leave on Saturday. Uh, it's going to cost $147 a person. So, you know, but I, you know, I'll, you know, I'll, I'm tra we're trailering down, so we have ways of um, charging things and whatnot. Across from that is the Daytona RV Speedway. I think it's called. Or something. Yeah, because you can awesome. you can actually see the when they're doing stuff in in the side of the Speedway, you can see the lights on from where I'm at. Oh yeah, yeah, no, but I'm saying across from your campsite where you're staying, there's yeah. another RV site, which is I think it's Daytona. RV something campsite, which is another nice campsite. Yeah. Let's uh, see. Yes, uh, triple. Go to the flea market too. That's another thing to do. Do there. Yeah, that's one thing I didn't. I didn't really get the cool chance to, to ride through there or, drive, or walk through it. It's a really cool flea market. Um. Well, I know I got a couple. I got one one place in particular I really like to eat breakfast at. Is um, the uh, Pat's uh, Riverside uh, Cafe? That's. Um, yeah. Have you ever ate there? I like flapjacks. He put himself on. What's <laughs> <laughs> up, brother? Everybody's asking where I'm at, man, and I, you know I'm I'm right here. <laughs> He's observing. Well, <laughs> hey, Rafi. All right. How you doing? You doing well on yourself. Good, good. Hey, uh, the reason why I haven't been on here, guys, these guys have been doing a great job on that Daytona stuff that I've never seen and don't know what they're talking about. But I've just been throwing up all these comments you guys have been uh, putting on and uh, helping out in my own strange way. So you guys, you two, just go ahead and continue the <laughs> master conversation. We're going to talk you into going one of these days. Well, I'm going to be down there in March, but I ain't going to yeah. be over there. You're just going to have to leave early. Do you, do you have Vicky, to check? In with, hey, Vicky, do you have to check in with your job and take vacation? I, I could see if I could get off work. <laughs> <laughs> you might take a couple. Uh, I, extra weeks I, I off. don't know. Uh, I don't know when we're coming down yet. You know, uh -huh. it depends on the weather. Okay. We got a little farther to go than Rat Fink. You can, I go you can, farther for groceries than Rat Pink's going to drive just for that to go to the deal. You're right. <laughs> Hank, Hank, come here. Come on, Hank. You can stop Hank. and you pick, up, up, Charlie. You can stop pick up Charlie on the way. There you <laughs> go. Oh, look. There's See Hank. That dog on there. See that Mine's dog? Oh, sleeping. my God, that dog. <laughs> Mine's <Oof>. sleeping. <laughs> He's crashed. <laughs> got but, uh, somewhere. Yeah, we, <laughs> Sounds like you guys are going to have a lot of fun, and I wish I could make it, but I I doubt it. But I'll see the videos. I bet you absolutely oh, yeah. will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to see you down there. You and you, well, you can always stop and get Charlie, and uh, and y'all can. Well, you know, uh, if I stopped there and Charlie said, "Hey, let's go to Daytona." You, you wouldn't have to twist my arm too hard. <laughs> what is what is the dates on the, the is it the third through the well, I don't know 13th, 12th, 12th, I think. Oh, it's the beginning yeah. of uh March. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It usually always is for yeah. the most part. So how do they do they when uh, I got a lot of questions for you because I've never been there. So maybe I we can talk about things that I don't know that other people sure. may want to know. Like when do they always have a set time for this uh, uh, event? Like Sturges is always the first full week of August. So what do they do about Daytona? I guess it's pretty much the same for the most part. It's the first week. First, first week or first full week or? or? Well, I don't know how the heck it works, but it, it's it's right in the beginning of March. It's the, between the first and second week of March, it's always, and it's a full week, always a full week. About how, how big is the area that is called the rally? Well, I mean, everyone, I mean, the main thing is Main Street, and it's not that big. Uh -huh. It's it's really not that big. But, you know, it's just loaded with bars, so it's just everyone packs and goes up and down Main Street. 
But, you know, I, I get my fill there, you know, a couple hours and I'm out of there. And then I just ride down like Ridgewood, go through US-1. There's just famous good bars. You just see people everywhere and you go, shit, let's pull in there. Whoop, pull in there. You have a great time. Hey, I've never been there. Whoop, pull in. There's tons of places I haven't even been. Yeah. I imagine Punch. it's hard to hit them all. Yep. It, it took me, uh, I don't know, 15 years before I thought I'd hit everything and then in Sturges, and then I meet Cool Whip, and he's showing me new shit I haven't even seen yet. Oh, yeah, 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 especially Sturges. That's so big. Yeah. It's like, forget about it. Yeah. So uh, how long is uh, Main Street? You said it isn't very big. It ain't. Nah, I would. How far do they block it off? Quarter mile, I would say it's maybe. Well, that's. I think that's longer than Sturges. Guess, maybe a quarter mile. Nah, I think Sturges is longer than. It's uh, eight blocks, isn't it? It's. I think Main Street and Sturgis is at least twice as long. Is yeah. it? I wow. think so. Yeah, uh, yeah there's nothing like Sturgis. And you say most of the people are camping there because uh, they do have hotels out there, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people. But there's so yeah. much. I mean, who wants to spend four hundred something dollars for a hotel, three hundred and eighty dollars a night for a hotel? I, I can't afford that. That's why I threw my tent on the ground for hundred and forty dollars. Cackleberries. Cackleberries was shit. I used to pay like, fuck, man, it was like fifty bucks for a full hookup. Now it's uh, we got up to ninety five or one hundred five dollars a night. Yeah. But they didn't have nothing. When I camped there, there was nothing there. It was just you camp there. Okay, so they had camping, which was about maybe 30 campers, and then they would park all the bikes for overflow for Cabbage Patch, and they would park them in front of Cackleberries, and that's all it was. And now, they bring all the vendors in and all the... Dang, you guys haven't seen nothing. They used to have a freaking goat cart track out there, and they had some fast goat carts. And man, let me tell you something, people got hurt. I <laughs> think you do 50 miles. I saw a lady hit the tires and go flying out of the ring. She had to take her away in the ambulance. I was like, holy shit. Then they shut it down. Then they had a merry-go-round out there for a while. They took that out of there. And well, it sounds they, like it's just it sounds like it's just about every other rally. It was a lot more fun in the beginning. You can't put go-karts in there with a bunch of freaking bikers drinking all night. That's just insane. They, they think they're freaking, you know. <laughs> Michael Andretti out there freaking or Mario Andretti and they're going to kill themselves out there. And that's what happened. So they took it out of there. Until, I guess too many people got hurt. But now they loaded it with vendors. There's a question for you there, Rapping. Can you read it? Uh, From uh, oh, man. Vixen. Oh, I started going in 83. So I probably missed a few. I probably missed 10 since 83. But In What year did you go to Sturgis? 2018. And I tattooed it on my arm because I didn't know if I'd ever be able to go back. So I tattooed it on my arm. Right. Well, you know, I got a tattoo on my leg here. It's uh, 1990, my first year. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. You know, I didn't think about it. It's my first year. So that, you know, I could look yeah. at it that way. Yeah. Hmm. Lie to everybody and say, yeah, man, I've been there about 40 times. <laughs> I don't know if I'm bringing my bike out there to uh, uh, Louisiana this year or if we're, we're looking at a uh, Jeep because we don't know if we're going to be going, doing more biking out. Depends on the weather. Biking or a Jeep. We don't have to worry about the rain. So we don't know what we're bringing yet, but we're prepared either way, uh, anyway, for the bike. Hmm. I heard Vixen is not going to be staying. Where are you? Where's she staying? She, I think she wasn't staying in Daytona or something. No, she's staying away from. I don't know exactly, but um, I think they're they, not letting her in town anymore because she, <laughs> they're she's just, the best looking one there, and they just don't want no competition. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> I know that they're just driving. They're not taking their bike. They're just they're just going to drive and. They got a place somewhere outside of Daytona. Huh. Yeah. Hopefully it is only once, ZZ. I think that last year, the last three days I was there, it rained the entire time. 
you guys have been real lucky in the last few years. It hasn't, it's been good at Sturgis other than heat. You know, Daytona is kind of, I, I thought it is easy to drive around. Really easy to drive around. One thing that I noticed is maybe it was just because of where I was staying, I don't know, but because you know, early in the video, I talked about how I would be jumping around from like Cackleberry to Iron Horse, which is completely on the other side of town from each other. And then you have, uh, you know, Main Street. Mm -hmm. And it seems like I have to hit all the traffic lights when I'm doing that. And the traffic lights to me seem like they take forever to change. Like I'm they just do. sitting at that traffic light for six, seven, eight minutes waiting for them. Sometimes to the motorcycles don't set them off either. So you're sitting yeah. there. Stomping yeah. your damn feet pissed off and they just don't even recognize you're on there. Yeah, I know there's all kinds of hotels up and down A1A there, which is right on Daytona Beach, but God knows how much those things cost. You take A1A, Ridgewood, all those those main roads, everything's up and down those main roads. US1, all that. It, it, it'll take you right into the uh, Iron Horse, right through to yeah. um, destination, and you can take that right down. You can go right down US one, whatever to Main Street A one A. From there, you can just make that right, go down. Everything's there. You can't get lost there. If you do, you need another drink. Just stop at a bar. There's someone around there and have another drink. Oh, that's catfish. There. That's a new one. I have to write that down. <laughs> can I can I throw that on my Google and it'll pop up? Good restaurant, ain't catfish. So is uh Krabby's. Krabby's another good one. Okay. Krabby's. Krabby's. No. Yep. Is that the one on the beach? Mm-hmm. I think I ate there last year. There's one, there's one even south of that. You gotta walk through a pier and walk through this. It don't go to that one. That place sucks. Okay. It's, I think it's named Crab. Well, the one I'm thinking about oh. is almost right at the end of Main Street on the beach. Yep. Okay. To, to, I think it's the right. Close to Main Street. Yep. Or south of it. Okay. Yep. Yep. And yeah, Catholic. that was good. And I like yep. it because they had an area where you could walk down to the beach. I used to like the Oyster Club back in the day, and now it kind of yep. sucks. Yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Is easy? We need a condo. <laughs> Is that the beginning? Yeah, yeah. Heading down to Daytona Beach. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let's see. While I'm going through these, let's see. I think you answered almost all my questions. I, I was going to ask you what you re what you recommend doing while you're down there for bike week, which is basically you're just going to go around and to the bars and stuff. Yeah, meet everybody, hang out, have a good time. I mean, because riding wise, like I said, we, There's no riding. Well, you can take a ride. We can all buzz around. Oh yeah. I mean, about thirty minutes out of Daytona. Yeah. Yeah. I've used to see things, uh, people riding on the beach and stuff. Is that still done or? I don't think they have that going. I think the beach is closed right now. Pretty sure it's closed because of the and because uh, of the storms. The damage. Yeah, they got a lot of erosion, especially uh, Daytona Shore has got pounded, man. I mean, pounded. Well, the okay. whole embankments just wiped out, pools and everything, just gone. Wow. That far up to the hotel, that it condos that it wiped pools and stuff out. Oh so, wow! Uh, it was wow. Bad. So so there won't be no walking down on the beach, huh? Sounds like. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think they might even have it closed still. Some areas you could walk on, but I think some areas they probably still have it closed. But it was a few weeks ago I was there, so they might be hustling to get it open. At least some areas. I don't think you're going to be able to ride up and down it, though. I don't believe. Hmm. Yeah, well, you used to be able to ride up and down it, Gary. Yeah. Here too in uh here too in St. Augustine, they got that shut down. 
we got an area we could ride up and down, but they shut it so, down. So, what besides uh, bars and shops, what what else is there to do there? Uh, you know, well, they got the Willie's Bike Show, which is always a good one to go to. A Willie's Tropical Tattoo. He's got that big chopper show, Chopper Time. It's called Willie's Chopper Time, which is pretty cool. I got a it's a good bike show to go to. Did you go to that one, Cool Whip? No, but I'm I'm trying to find out some of those. What's it called? It's a uh, Willie's Tropical Tattoo. It's a uh... oh, shit. Yeah, it's bike show. Yeah, it's a bike show. Willie's Tropical ta Tattoo has it. It's a big one. Everyone knows it. Yeah, I, I, I've heard of it. I just didn't get a chance time. to go to it. Chopper time. And there, I I know we me and Dave went to. Um, I think they actually call it the Full Throttle Bike Show, which was on the pier. Okay, yeah, yeah, they had that one right on the boardwalk or whatever they call yeah, it. Yeah, boardwalk area. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if if they'll have that. If it, you know what, I've never went to that one. Hmm. It's, it's okay. I mean, yeah, I mean, there was... on that side. I always stay on the west side of a uh, main. Dog um, races is what uh, D and Triple D said. Have you ever been to the dog races? Dog races? Yeah, no. that's what he was saying. Nope. I've never seen a dog race. Not I've a seen summer. a dog chase a cat. Yeah. Yes, it was also, taken out by a hurricane. That Krabby Joe's. Krabby Joe's, is that the one you said don't go to, or is that the other one? Yeah, don't go to that crap one. Yeah, the, the whole back of it fell down. The very oh, wow. end of it fell down, yeah. Shit, I went there. I wasn't impressed. It was like almost food that came frozen. I was like, wow, man, they were charging all these crazy prices. I thought it was going to be good. It was good, good and terrible. <laughs> well, that's the same way. If you go to the Oregon coast, there used to be a place called Moe's, and everybody went to Moe's. They had quite a few outlets there on the coast, right. fresh, good, and then a chain bought them out, and it's frozen fish now. Yeah, that sucks. That's the worst. I've, you know, I've been to Florida. I've been going to Florida since I was about 13 years old. My grandparents took me down here and took me all over the place down there. And I have never been to a dog race. Never done it. Moved here in ne 70. Never been to where? Never been to a dog race. Me neither. <clears throat> been to Highlight before. Uh, yeah. <laughs> ZZ's making a joke. <laughs> oh, man. I think people can watch some of my videos and know that Daytona is nothing like Hog Rock. <laughs> yeah, from the pictures I've seen from Hog Rock. Woo, boy. <laughs> I'll be back there in June. <laughs> that yeah, it'll be a good time. <laughs> I'm so far behind. You guys are commenting pretty fast. I like it, but mm -hmm. <laughs> I got to look over here because I, know, I got to try to catch up. It's probably just... echoing. They don't have two things going. Well, yeah, Mose was a. Amazing, but it ain't no more. They changed that about five years ago. What Did you guys go to Moe's there, uh, Gunner? What was Moe's? Moe's is the restaurant over there on the west coast, east, west coast, Oregon. Oregon oh. coast. Well, I was just talking about it. It, it, it ain't no good anymore. Huh. <laughs> I like getting hammered. <laughs> I think I put a video out something about we had the um, there was a hog rock and the guy was putting a nail. He had, he was a, what do you call those freak shows? He put a nail in his nose and and some lady said I like getting nailed. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are crazy there. You're right, Gunner. That's why. I, that's why I probably I might have to up the ante here and get a couple of admins on here to take care of all this for me. <laughs> Tell them. 
You celebrity. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing with? Are you, uh, I have not bought any liquor yet. For uh, which I, I might take a bottle. I got a shitload of liquor. I just always. I got it. a bottle. I'm saving for a a friend of mine next time I see him. <laughs> Thank you, you very it, much you again. It, there. You gonna let it ferment? <laughs> yeah, you don't know if it can get any better. The, the, I had to hide it from myself. The alcohol for volume. <laughs> <laughs> You're more than welcome to you know. I had to, I had to buy the uh, the off brand stuff. Oh, down they, there. I couldn't find it here. I couldn't find it here. Wow. I had to buy uh, old. Was it called old? Old Smokies. Yeah, I, I don't know about old Smoky, but I, I haven't found nothing here that compares with it. Peanut butter whiskey, uh, what, what's it called? Screwball. Whiskey? Screwball. Screwball, yeah. That, I, that's just some smooth stuff. You can, yep. sit, you can sit there right at my counter and drink a whole bottle. If you don't believe me, I got a movie of Charlie doing it. <laughs> you got to make a peanut butter and jelly. You take that and you put this, this other liqueur. It's like uh, strawberry, strawberry or something. You drink it. It tastes like peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter, uh, strawberry, strawberry. Uh, what they called the uh, real good, uh, knock your socks off. yeah. Well, no, let me Bull. see if I can find what it is. Hold on, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's strawberry Red Bull. <laughs> you take that Red Bull and the, the uh, and the screwball, and you make a, a PB and J. A what you take strawberry Red Bull, uh huh, and 50 50, right, with screwball, and it makes a PB and J. Wow. With Red Bull, that that'll keep you going too. <laughs> All right there, we go. Whatever this stuff is, up, uh, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And my lord, he is bring, it, he bring out the good stuff. I got to get my pencil out. Hold that back up there again. <laughs> Hold that up there, boy. Where'd my pencil go? All I got is a color crayon, so this might take a while. Chamboard. Sham. Chamboard. <laughs> All right. That'll be on my I, whiskey list. If I get drunk and fall down, it's your fault. We'll pick you up. <laughs> <laughs> when are you going to come to Sturgis again? He, he's coming this year. All right. I'm going to try to. His arm. <laughs> I'm going to try to. It's been a rough year for us, but, you know. It's easy for Daytona. I'm right here, but freaking Sturgis is a haul for us. It's hard yeah. for my wife to get off a whole week. And ain't no way she's let me go without her going. She ain't going to let me go without having her fun. Yeah, in a <laughs> week. I don't leave you out there long. No, uh, not at all. It'd take you at least two days to get there, if not three. Yeah, and that's hauling ass. Yeah. Yeah, it would take almost three to get there from there, I bet. Mm. And that, mm -hmm. like you said, that'd be all an ass. Mm. <laughs> he, all right, wait a minute. <laughs> uh oh, you made you made go cool whip thirsty now. I can't drink this. Let me go get some fireball. <laughs> I'm the only one left. I'm you guys made me thirsty. <laughs> but I I had this all sitting there ready to go, and and I got sidetracked. Vixen said, "Let me put that up there for everybody to read here." There you go, Gunner. You've had this. <laughs> and Goldslaw, what's she like? Paint? Paint? Yeah, I think that's a cinnamon. I've never I had that either. I better write that down. I've never drank with that girl. And she's one of us now. We need to get drunk together, I guess. <laughs> hey. <laughs> well, we're all gonna have to because I know you're probably staying at uh, Cackleberry there, aren't you? I think. Yeah, I got a spot already. There's, like I said, the only thing they have available now there is tent camping and RV dry camping with you know no electric, no nothing, no water. Yeah, I can't see how people camp like that, man. I, I don't. Um, not me. Yeah, we'll all have to get there 
get all go together or meet up there at the Cackleberry because I know that they can they have the music and everything outside of the stage and they got all kinds of stuff that goes on over there. Yeah, it's always something to do. Yeah. Always something to do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, 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 I was there Wednesday night last year and uh, and we had a good old time. Or I did. Um, I don't got much left in this one here. I may okay. have to crack into the other ones, but you guys are drinking. You made me thirsty. I quit alcohol too, so just I can for tell. You too. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they, yeah. I, I got a couple of um, throw them up here real quick for people to see. And I, like I said, I've been trying to find things that are going on during Bike Week. <clears throat> and believe me, I have um, hardly no, found anything. That um, freaking if you don't have that biker thing, biker, this one right here on the phone. See that? What's it called? It's called Bikers Info USA. This app right here. But that's let me go back because that it like went into it already. Let me get it out and try this again here. Bikers Info USA. Right into it, but that's what the app looks like. That's an app. Biker Info USA. It's free okay. and. Every upcoming rally, you click national rallies, whatever rallies, and it'll tell you. It'll tell you what hotels to stay in, um, you know what's going on, all the events going on. It'll tell you everything. It's pretty good, actually, and it's free. But you can't beat that. Cool. I was just going to throw these up here for a couple seconds and let people see them. These are just some of the things. Have you ever you ever seen this? The, you ever done that? No. No. Uh -uh. Uh, just a few things that I found for this year. They don't um, want to bless me. <laughs> right. Me. Well, some people like to do that. Um, I'm just messing around. I know. I know. Let's see. I got three more. Let's see. Mm -hmm. We will do this. Here's some. It's very small writing. So you guys, I don't know. I know I can barely see it on my laptop. So. Um. These are supposed to be all banned for Cackleberry. If you can see them. Yep. How come Vixen ain't on here, by the way? I don't see her picture here. Why is she ain't she chatting away? And I I know I really like this. When I we went, this is this was Friday night last year we went and and this was I think this was worth going. Problem is, it's so freaking far out. You know it what is. I mean? It is far. If you're yeah. going to go out there, just try not to drink so much. You know what I mean? No, no. If you're far away, it's not worth yeah. it. Have a no, couple of beers, it's, it's, take yourself. Have I a beer and water. Minutes. Beer and water. I think it's a 30 minute highway uh, ride out there. And there's one so way? many assholes on the highway. That's the problem. And, and that's we, one way. That's one way. Yeah. The uh, burning bike. Yeah, there's a swap meet there, too. It's a big campground. They got a lot of stuff going on there. They got a lot of junk. I mean, you can find shit. If you got an old beater out there, you're looking for some old rusted part that you can't find, that's where you go. Hmm. Well, that's what I found. But I'm, yeah, you know, I will probably try to at least go to the burning bike that was that was pretty cool watching that thing burn i'm hoping the uh speedway is bigger this time you know what i mean because it kind of been getting it smaller and smaller it sucks yeah i know that i i didn't go inside this speedway at all last year because it, it seemed like everything that they had going on in there was fifty dollars or more a person to to attend it, you know, for they because they had some races and stuff going on, and I said, "Nah, I, I would like to go in there and see some of it, but I'm not." Well, I mean, just going on the outside of the speedway, just looking at the vendors or whatnot. That's what I did. Yeah, that's what that's all I did. And then it's everything six dollars a beer there because you're walking on freaking. I tried to get a, I tried to get a water there, and it was five dollars. 
Well, I'd love to go to NASCAR. I said no. I'm not paying it. I I, I just didn't drink nothing. I ain't paying five dollars for a water. I'm kind of down and out with NASCAR right now. I just just taking a turn for the worst. It's not NASCAR no more. It's like I hope. I hope for. Triple D. I hope. <laughs> you know what we all need to do is find a rally right there in the middle of America someplace we could all meet up. That'd just be great. Exactly. I don't know where that would be or what it would be, but if they ever had one in the middle of America, they'd have people coming from coast to coast. Yeah, it's just would. so far for us to get to you or you to get to us. Come here. You know, they Come need here. something right in the middle. Come here. There we got the other doggies on here. They're all going away, man. This whole yeah. people are going away. This whole culture is going away. It's oh yeah, there. yeah. Uh, I got a I got a picture on there of Sturges in '94, and out of the whole group of us, me and Vicky, the only two still alive. And <laughs> he <great>. woke up. <laughs> yeah. Freaking music they play now. It's like, it just I don't I don't understand. Yeah, yeah. I got yeah. to go to a Steppenwolf concert. Oh, cool. Live. The real people. I think it cost us 20 bucks. You know, hey, it was hardly anything. No and we got to sit on our bike right at the stage in Buffalo Chip. You ain't going to do that shit now. You, they had, uh, would they have uh, Kid Rock out there? And you got a nosebleed from the, how far you had I mean, to be away from that boy. Yeah. It, it just, it, it ain't fun. The good old days. Yeah, I know. Uh, what's his name? Uh Amswell Adam, he has a um, uh, a place out there, out, right outside the uh, speedway. Works on mm -hmm. bikes. Oh, does he? Yeah. Yeah, and he, uh, shit, I still owe Amswell Adam money. <laughs> 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 I ain't lying. He's a good dude, man. He put a freaking clutch in for my wife. It's like a thousand dollar clutch. He texted oh, me boy. like two days ago and said, "Oh, I think I forgot to bill you." I said, "Yeah, you did." So, I gotta you. <laughs> you don't find Never many did. people that way. Uh uh. You hey guys, that. I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and finish this off. I got a, I got a, a woman telling me dinner's ready. It's nice chatting with all you guys and all you guys over there in the column, column, column also. <laughs> so uh, you all have a good time at Daytona. We'll see you on the next one of these things. Yeah, you next Sunday you sometime. You're doing a great job. Next next Sunday, see you, see you, my friend. See you guys. Bye, right. everybody. Take care, brother. <laughs> Thank you, Triple D. We appreciate it. We we work hard to, to try to bring you guys info and talk about certain things. And and uh, oh, he's he's gone, gone. So let me take him off of here. Oh, maybe I'll know. Uh, hmm. Okay. Anyway. Um. Yes, and yeah. If you find there's there's still a few of them around there uh, that that they say that the Hog Rock is like old Sturgis, you know that that it's just right party town. Um. Yeah, it looked like a good time for sure. And I and I probably and I and from what I understood, I only seen a fraction. Uh, because I went I went in uh, what was it called Hog Hog Rocktoberfest. And the temperatures were really, really cool, cool to cold. And um, the numbers weren't really there. Uh, and from what I understand, June is going to be off the hook. I want to do the Angel City Rally in, in uh, Georgia. And it's called U Usla. I can't remember the name. It's a weird place, city, but it's fucking awesome. Yeah. So, so, all right. So, see what we got. Um, do you do, so? Do you like make all your own food when you're camping, or should stay staying at Cackleberry, or do you go out and to to eat? I, I like to I like to cook out, but my old lady's like, hey, I had enough of that shit because she doesn't want to you know cook anyway. She's like, we're going out to eat. So we'll bring a bunch of food and we'll bring a bunch back. You know what I mean? Right. We'll bring a bunch of shit back. We'll just have coolers with ice in them and frozen crap and bring it back. But 
for the most part. I like to, I bring all my stuff. That's why I say I bring my smoker. I bring all my stuff out there, and I'm ready to cook. Mm-hmm. Have some beers, kick back. And like I said, if I want to go do something, let's walk over to the tent over there or walk across the street to the patch and hang out. And there's always something going on to hang out and have a good time, you know? Right. I'll put this up here for... Um, yeah, I mean, obviously, I, I just trailered down here and I stayed in a tent, so I I didn't... I probably could have bought something like that, but I, I pretty much ate out everywhere I went, so that's... I was... Uh, I, I know I'm going to have uh, Dave on here. Uh, I think next week um, I'm going to have him on there. Uh, crazy... Well, he's got all kinds of names. Dave, Simply Dave, Crazy Dave, Dave's Crazy. Trailer guy. So... <laughs> Trailer Dave. <laughs> so, uh, and I know he knows all the places to eat there too. And, uh, and I, actually, I think I found a couple places from Bob and Tam, and that's at Pat's, mm-hmm. Pat's uh, Riverside. And I really like that place because they have this big giant picnic table, you know, out right. in front, right on the water there. And I, I, went, I ate there twice, and that is, that's my favorite so far. Peanut and George's on Main Street's okay. It's a cool little place. You want to grab a little something quick. Yeah. It's not too bad. I think I even did a live air while yeah. I was eating my breakfast. I put the um, the link for the uh, live in here. I got ZZ in the background here. I guess I'll bring him on here and see what he's got. To see. What's up, ZZ? Yo, yo, ZZ. Well, Can you hear me? Yeah, so, hey, Bob, are you getting any feedback? Yeah. So far, it sounds good. Yeah. Is that getting tangled in your beard? I told me to put a uh, headset on so it wouldn't feed back. So. Usually, if you, as long as you don't got nothing playing in the background, you're usually okay. Do you have Do you have one computer up playing you? Um, Streaming yeah, you right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Then you'll be good and you went on through the thing, so you'll be fine. I turned my phone off, so we're doing good now, I guess. Yeah, I've yeah. not had the pleasure of doing that yet, Vicky. <laughs> um me and I ride out there every year. Everybody's doing up their dream out there. I forgot to say, uh happy new year, y'all. We're going to get a dub tonight. It's <laughs> still early for that, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, that's just even like when I go to Sturgis. I mean, I eat out everywhere. We eat breakfast, right? You know, snack in between or or whatever we're at, and, and dinner at night. So, when I went uh, to Sturgis, we went to uh, the veterans place and eat breakfast. We yeah. went there. The good thing was, I don't, I didn't know anything about Sturgis because I've never been there. But we had a friend that went with us. That had someone that lived there just outside of Sturgis. And he goes, Man, I'm gonna take you guys on a tour like you've never been. So we followed him and he took a, pretty much any place you name, we probably went. Nothing I mean, he took us everywhere. Guys. Wow. It was really cool. Yeah, old Dave finished his, uh, he's gonna be on here next week and we're gonna talk about some things. We're gonna talk about Daytona and he's got a new, uh, I shouldn't say, well, he, he built a new trailer. Man, I'm stoked. I'm ready to go. And he's going to be doing a 48 state in 48 days wow. ride leaving from uh, Daytona. Wow. <laughs> Him and Lone Star. They're going to be raising money for um, diabetes. Wow. And I got to get all that information awesome. sometime this week. Very awesome. Yeah. Uh, hey, Johnny, you know it. So, is there a favorite place you like to eat, uh, uh, Rat Faint, while you're down here, other than your own? Listen, if you want a good breakfast, go to Flapjacks and Port Orange, real good. Called Flapjacks and Port yep. Orange. Yep. Really good. Super good place. And they serve um, Bloody Marys and a couple other hey drinks. Guys, that- uh, are you hearing any feedback? Because, man, I feel like I'm high or something. I don't hear it. Whoa. <laughs> Try taking the. Did you take the earphones off? Try that. See Try if that. Maybe, that <laughs> maybe the earphones are the problem. 
Yeah, because you're fine on my end. Worth a try. Yeah, that sounds good to me. How's that sound? Much, much. Woo! Sam yeah, Buka. Felt like I was in the Twilight Zone. <laughs> that sounds yeah, good. Sounds, yeah, it sounds good. Sam, <laughs> what? I don't know what a Sambuca shot is, Triple D. Oh, I've had it before. Can't remember what the hell it is. Sambuca is a, well, it's some so, kind of liqueur or something. In our shit. audience, how many people do you think are coming? <laughs> <laughs> Woodford right. Reserve Triple Oak. Cheers. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, that's good. Flap, flapjacks. That sounds. Is, it, is that a mom and pop place? Yes, it is. It's like a little diner, but it, and it's hard to get in. So if you get there, try to get there and run up and put your name in quick. Really? Because it's great. I mean, the food is freaking amazing. <laughs> And like I say, if you want a Bloody Mary to start the morning off, well, they'll make that for you right there. She'll roll a cart over and shh, make it up right next to you. Thanks for stopping by, Gunner. I appreciate you, man. Every Sunday. Keep those videos rolling out, man. He, he does those. Uh, I, mean, I hope that we get you finally when we get down to uh, Daytona. Say that again. I didn't hear you. I said, I'd love to meet Highway Vixen. I never met her, but I've seen a lot of her videos. Okay. Yeah. She's, Maybe we she's, run into her. she's a, a very nice woman. Very nice. Well, you you didn't get to talk to her at uh, Tuesday at Sturgis? She was up there on stage. Yeah, I've got some videos. <laughs> 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 I bet. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Vicky. Oh man. I will get a hold of you probably sometime the week after. Uh probably a couple weeks and to set up something, Vicky, for one of my lives. I can only hope. Only hope. Uh. Dang. <laughs> All right now. I turned the phone off. Yeah, that, yeah I know. My, my wife is buzzing me. She, <laughs> she works third shift. <laughs> she keeps buzzing my phone. <laughs> Radfrick, it's going to be a first time for me, too, man. You're going to be, that's going to be awesome, yeah. man. Hell so yeah. You never, have a great time. And you're you staying at that time. Bike week here is easy. You never been to Daytona Bike Week? I was there in 2015, uh, just before yeah, okay. my dad died. And we went up there and had a great time before he died. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> right. You staying at the campground, Cackleberries? Uh, I think Coop and I thought about someplace like maybe, what was that? Coop? Crazy Horse. Crazy Horse? Crazy Horse. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we uh I called and they gave me a price of $147 for 7 days. Yeah, you can't beat that. Yeah. I mean, all I needed was a place of, you know, go and right, you know, right. Cuz I'm not going to be there anymore. Oh, yeah. You know, shower and then, you know, they got a shower and a toilet and I think that beard is getting long. Kind of <laughs> My old lady would fucking not sleep in the Hey, cool. Take a look at this shit, man. Do what? <laughs> you guys are <laughs> <laughs> oh, having boy. too much fun. I'm getting toasted, man. <laughs> What's wrong with that? Hey, it's, yeah. hey, I don't, yeah, I'm off tomorrow. That's, so that's going to be just a little preview of what's going to be going on at Daytona, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, anybody, let's see. I know we got <laughs> people watching here. It's, uh, yeah. Anybody got any questions in regards to uh, Daytona Bike Week while we have, you know, packing a bowl? One of the best people you can ask about. Anything going on there? 
on here. You might want to ask questions. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Let's go. Nope. I don't even know what that is. What is that? I don't know what that was. Who's dinging? <laughs> oh, that was me. Oh. My old lady's in down South Florida and she's just she a family issue. So she's That's texting her. Yeah. Rely yeah. on you. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, you got that right. She's got fucking two eyes on me. <laughs> No, she's got glasses. She got four eyes. <laughs> my dog was sleeping, and now he wants to play. Man, I love again. that. I like that banner you got there, ZZ. I mean, uh, not ZZ. Uh, cool. What behind <laughs> you there? You like that? What you talking about that one? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had to get something. I had to change some things around for, for these videos, and so I had to relocate my other ones. I was actually, um, this is the cheapest one I found. Actually, it was I got it for ten bucks, and they're all about twenty bucks. So, I was wanting to try to find a, a Daytona one also to, to hang up there for <laughs> Daytona videos, but yeah, I couldn't really. I could find it but if I want to spend twenty, thirty bucks on one. I'd be like, nah, I'll wait. Fucking nugget right there. <laughs> that nice well, that bud, man. <laughs> <laughs> Triple D, mm, craft sweet, sweet baby Java, straight from the pharmacy. That's the best stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, most well, certainly is. <laughs> Legal weed, hey guys. Uh, I only have like half a dozen to subscribe, so I could go live. Okay. Um, It'd be great if I could get them. Well, I don't think I have any more questions for, uh, other than uh, what's... Well, we can't hang out and just fucking drink and be stupid all night? <laughs> yeah, we could. We could, yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, Triple D, that's broccoli. We'll see you later. <laughs> So, so when, when, it's when do you always play a on? pleasure to party with you guys, man. Oh, <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, I can remember. Hey, hey, cool with him. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one Eye Jacks is one hell of a place to party at, too. Oh, yeah. That's a cool place. I got some cool pictures my, of that. Get my Cool Whip on. I might have to bring my own Cool Whip down we to Daytona. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying. I was trying last year to get my cool whip on, and them girls were looking at me like, "This ain't Sturgis, buddy. This is Florida." <laughs> <laughs> it's like you tell me this is a bike rally. You telling me you don't do that here? <laughs> oh, they do it over at the cruising cafe. You go over there at the end. They do it. Cruising, cruise. That's another one. Cruise in. Cruising cafe. It's right. It's at the east end of Main <laughs> Street. On the. Oh. It is on the east end, so that would be the south southwest corner. Okay, it's right on Main Street, you know. And I went, I went to Froggy's, and Froggy's was first like, bar. huh? First, it's bar. the first bar when you turn on the uh, Main Street. The other side's a like a shop for buying trinkets, and it's, yeah. you'll see it. It has a race car up on it. Yeah, I, I went to Froggy's because Froggy's is a good place. That's a fun place. Is. I always like going there. I was probably going the wrong time of day, I guess. Running around with the markers scribbling. Yeah, all you can you can ask uh, Dave and uh, who else? Uh, uh, Rex with Lone Star. He they were all there. They did the video for me. I, I did a shot there, but it wasn't cool. Whip. They they didn't they didn't do nothing like that, or the hmm. ready whip, whatever they. We're talking about all kinds of good stuff, aren't we? Like to talk about that rally fun. I guess you wonder why I'm drinking out of a straw, right? Because they can drink. It, 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 it gets drunk faster. faster. <laughs> That's what they say. It gets you drunk faster. You can drink it quicker. <laughs> is that what it well, is? There? Yeah. <laughs> now, from what I understand, my my last Cool Whip girl, 
uh, that uh, from Sturgis, um, Tiffany, I think it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Tiffany? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. she's from Daytona. And supposedly yeah, she yeah, worked yeah, at one yeah. of those bars somewhere around there. And I got to reach out to her and see where she's going to be at. Yes, Tiffany. Yeah, you can find her on our Cool Whoops videos. Man. She's <laughs> doing a uh, belly flop on it. <laughs> I got to look her up. Tiffany. <laughs> Something. You know what them cool riding you should do in Florida if you ever do is Florida Keys, man. Tiffany Star Marker. Good shit. I figured it out. <laughs> so what day are you getting down there, Rafink? Getting there Friday, which is what? The third. So how many days is it? Okay. Ten days, just like uh Thursday. Yeah. Friday to the following Sunday. But what happened is with me is Friday I'm going down. I got to bring my – I got so much shit I got to bring. But it's okay because I'm not far away. I can make a couple trips. So I'm going to bring my RV with my golf cart hooked to it. I'm going to bring that. Hey, guys. Put it in the campsite. Then we just need I'm to gonna... have the shower house nearby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I got to go – then I got to go back. So my wife got to go back. Uh Monday and Tuesday, she's got to work. So I'm going to leave. I'm going to hang out the first weekend. I'm going to leave Monday. I'm going to come back Wednesday. Just leave my camper there, and then I'll be there the rest of the rally. Okay. So I'll miss Monday and Tuesday because she's got to work. So I'm freaking, I have to go. I have no way to get back. And I got to bring, I'll bring the bikes and shit back with me when I come back. So I got all my shit in the trailer, and I'll just haul it back Wednesday when I come back with the bikes. So, so the first, weekend, weekend. first weekend, no bikes. I'm going to bring my pups with me. We'll walk around the campground, have a good time with the dogs. The only time I can bring the dogs is when I don't have a, you know, I'm not going to ride and stuff because I don't want to leave in the camper. Not them fucking Frenchies. There you get people. Oh, man, aren't those, those are expensive, aren't they? And I'm like, I don't need no one busting my fucking camp over taking my fucking dogs. It's stupid because it's, mm -hmm. I ain't chancing it. And then another thing I always worry about, my wife does, we're riding. She's like, what if the power goes out? What if the power goes out? They're going to die in there from the heat. And I'm like, fuck, man. And the whole thing, I can't have no fun. You know what I mean? And then we got to go back to the damn camper. And I'm like, you know what? Fucking no dogs. Unless we're not riding. If we're staying at the camper, I'll bring the dogs. Otherwise, no dogs. So wow. I'll be back Wednesday. I'll be there the first weekend, though. We'll hang out. Shit, I'll be at the campground. So um, I'll have my cart and all that shit. So we can hang out and party it up. Like I said, I'll be back Wednesday. Cool. Wednesday through the end. Well, we're gonna we're gonna probably gonna be there later in the evening on Saturday. That's okay. A plan. That's a plan. Well, I'll be there. We uh, we've not officially talked about it yet. Me. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll work it out. Uh oh, look who popped up. Yeah, my number. Just call me, Crazy Dave, in the house. Hey, Dave, actually, sir. I actually wanted to comment on this real quick. Uh, Dave's crazy, crazy trailers on air. Are you referring to Charlie and Cassandra, Triple D? Um, if you are, I, I know that they're both, both doing very well. You know, and Gary was on here earlier, and him and him and uh, Vicky are doing very well also. That's the only ones I can think of. You're talking about the older guys. I don't know who I don't know who Triple D is, but I see her a I, lot when we, we have lives. So right. Glad you showed up, Dave. My wife's got no. your keys. Uh, Dave will be on. He'll he'll be the special guest on here next week. We're going to talk about all kinds of. We're going to talk about Daytona stuff again, um, and um, I know he's going to be doing his forty-eight state ride. We're going to talk about that. Yes. No, that, that, Every single one of them are they're beyond great. So we so the first weekend uh, <laughs> oh, you're just in time for the party there, Dave. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna need a refill. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Very cinnamony. Yeah, we got some party animals on this on this live right here. Yep, 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 yep. You can yep. see Daytona is going to be kind of crazy this year. So oh, we're gonna have fun with that motherfucker. Right? I, I, I just fall down, man. We're gonna fuck it I, up. And, and I really liked Cackleberry when I was you know there. What? I said you eat the worm, cool whip, and I missed that. I, I I missed it, and I saw it on your video. I wish I was there. <laughs> I, I was bringing back memories when I was doing that because I ain't done that <laughs> probably I think my 21st birthday party is when I did that but I did it all the time leading up to that <laughs> hello crazy day good to see you I hope to see you down there you can stop by here yeah. on the way down if you like oh yeah he's he'll be there yeah, we're all going to have to get together for breakfast and drinks and all kinds of good stuff. Mm -hmm. Hey, we might even be able to ride down there together. Heck, it's about the same time, isn't it? He'll he'll be down there before that because uh, he's one on a cruise before he goes to the to Bike Week. Okay. So he'll be down there way before we get down there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I did quite a few cruises out of, out of Daytona and uh, Jacksonville. Yeah, those were the good old days before the pandemic. I got them lined up in the fridge there, Triple D. <laughs> I'm, I'm waiting for the football game. We need to go down when when they have a they have the turkey run in Daytona. And they bring the hot rod. You guys come down. I'll bring I bring my car down usually, and we'll fucking rip the streets up with that bitch. We have a blast when we go down there, man. It's all hot rods. It's all the turkey run. It's all just hot rods up and down through Daytona. Just up, Jay, hey, uh, Raptor, what's that on your hat there, man? My hat. They tell there you me. go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but can't get Crappleberry Campground. There you go. Home of the big cock. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you go in that place, it's like just hanging out right there, the big cock. Yeah, it is. Yeah, man, <laughs> I got that bus. I have a couple of buses. <laughs> it's a fun place. Your boy, Kentucky boy. That place is fun. I did like that. Yeah. So, do you think uh, David Allen Coe is ever going to play down here again? No, nope. I think, he's, I think done. he's done. I know he's not been doing too well. Nah, he's he's done. Man, I love to see Kid Rock down there. Yeah. yeah. They don't yeah. have any big concerts, as far as I know. No, not Jackal. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, they had him at the destination last year. Jackal, you'll have a, I don't know what's that, whatever cane. I don't know if they're even that it's big. Not empty. I still got some. They're going to be set. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Guys, I'm having such a great time. You know. <laughs> Me too. So you got any 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 other info you want to share about Daytona? Mm, it's flat. There's no hills. <laughs> hey, but, any black hills down there in Daytona? But, <laughs> no riding. But you get to see beaches now, all right? That's why I say everyone says the mountains are cool, and they are beautiful. When I went to Sturgis, I was like, hold, I was walking around. People were like, like stop. Yeah, it. We're going like, to see I, a lot of good yeah. Warm weather when we get down there, I'll guarantee it. There'll be some rain. I hope the fucking rain stays away because we always get some crap rain. Last year we got rained out. Hey, but I think, man, how did that storm hold up down there, in Daytona? It 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 beat up the it beat up the area pretty bad. Yeah, it wiped it out. It, it beat up the uh, along the beaches. It, it it erodes it. It takes all the beach sand and washes it out to sea. And then everything, you know, like, you know, if you ever go out in the high rise, you look down, you can see the pool down there. Well, yeah. those pools have washed away and washed. Deep. I mean, it's taken that much land away. So they got to bring the beach sand in. They got to haul it out and dredge it and pump it all back and put it back into place. Uh, fuck yeah, we'll still have a good time. Yeah. But I mean, that's down in Daytona Shores. Daytona didn't take too much of a beat. And Daytona Shores is down north, uh, east, uh, south of Daytona. But 
some of the hotels got beat up, you know, the double doors got knocked out and glass broke in them. So they got to fix all that crap. Hmm. I mean, so it is what it is. Thank you. Uh, I haven't decided whether we're going to take the toy hill or not there, cool whip, man. I don't know about that weather down there right now. It's up to you, man. We got <laughs> You got a toy <laughs> hauler? <laughs> yeah, he's got a toy hauler. <laughs> it's, always, it's, always, it's always nicer, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, it rained cats and dogs here that last three days I was here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I fucking I couldn't get a I waited too freaking long and I called Cackleberries. Ah, we ain't got no spots available. I'm like, fuck, we're gonna have to ride there. And we yeah. get my old lady can only take so much time for so we rode we up there. A and weeks. I rode up the day it was a. I rode up the last day it didn't rain. And when we got there, it fucking weeks, we we rode the forecast on the all the way back. Fucking rained on us like hell, man. But we made the best of it. That's good to know. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, I, I, I got a three season tent. So, and I'll, you know, I'll knock on wood that uh, it's been through four Sturgis rallies, one hog rock and one Daytona, and it is yet to get water inside of it. So yeah, I need another refill. I'll be back in a second. Be right back. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so yeah, those three days of rain and when it rained, I mean, it rained. Yeah, it's it stayed dry. Yeah, it rained on us, and then it got cold as shit. And then we had to ride back. My old lady's got fibromyalgia, man. And everything you touch her, she it hurts. And it was forty something degrees out. We had to ride back, and I was fucking. She was cussing me out, man. I was like, man. I just rode back. I was like, sorry. I gave her my jacket. I rode back in a fucking t-shirt, man. I was like, ah, I fucking freezing my ass, but I didn't give a shit. I rode that crap. Yeah, Iron Horse is always packed. I mean, I did notice that during the day that uh, – In Daytona? Was, yeah, da Daytona. Know, yeah. yeah. They – because they got all those places on the like on the other side of the street there, you know, Broken Spoke yeah. and Beaver See, none of that. None of that shit's yeah. there. Like, if you go now on the other side, it's just fucking nothing there. It's empty. All that shit is empty. Only thing there is the Iron Horse, and you can – when you go to the back, it's gated off. You can't get back there. All that is is a front bar. You can go in that little front bar where they park the bikes, mm -hmm. and that's it. Unless they have an event. Sometimes they have a car show or something, they'll open up the back, and they'll bring the cars oh, in there. You. I've done that one before. It's pretty cool. I think we lost ZZ somehow. He, just he was lagging. Kind of, he was kind of lagging the whole time, I noticed. Yeah, I'm still – like I said, uh, Dave, you missed it earlier, but I'm, I'm trying to – been trying to keep an eye up for uh, concerts and – bike shows and everything else so i can post those things on here let people know about them but unlike sturgis they don't never post anything uh this far out which is like seven weeks i mean sturgis has already got concerts there's usually uh, nothing ever new yeah you know what yeah. i mean for the most part it's getting worse they used to be beach street i don't know if you ever rode down beach street before but up and down there, it's just it's it goes uh, north and south, and it's a long street. And they used to have vendors up and down. I mean, loaded. You could walk up and down. It was freaking better than Main Street. They took it away. They wiped it out because the people were saying, "Oh, uh, they wanted I don't know, make a freaking dog park or some bullshit like that." If people walk around mm -hmm. and play grab ass, I don't know. But they screwed it all up. Now it's like fucking shithole. They're just taking more and more crap out. I heard they're going to shut the Main Street Bridge down. I don't know if that's true or not, but just just east, uh, just west of the Boot Hill and the cemetery, mm -hmm. west of that, they were going to close that. But I don't see how they can shut that down. But I heard talk about that. Really? Yeah. Well, I heard they're they're trying to get rid of it all together, but. Hey, what are you doing? Are you popping in? Uh, Big popping in. How are you, sir? Hey, we're doing good. I got my daughter here. She uh, she went down in 2011 with me. Hi. Oh, yeah? Hey, how are you? Here, have how a seat. are you? Doing well. Long time ago. <laughs> was that the story you were telling me that she was on the back or? Yeah, or, two days. Yeah. And you were telling her about, uh, or you are telling us about how you had your, your riding suit. 
Yeah, I think she was wanting to wear shorts or something. I can't remember what it was. And you said you better put this suit on to be losing. <laughs> he went black. Are we still on here? I, there you are. We you lost back. you for a second. Poo poo happens. What's that story he told you? <laughs> um, I'm, I probably got it all screwed up, but uh, I remember he. You were supposed to go on a trip with him or something. Hang on, man. It ain't working. Time for a drink after that. <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> right. A little of this, too. Okay, he's coming back again. Maybe. Can you hear me? Can you hear me now? Yeah, we. Oh, I can hear you fine. All right. Yeah, she's the one when it, it was 18 degrees when we went down, and uh, I had riding suit. She didn't want to wear a riding suit, but I was 23. <laughs> it didn't take long. I wasn't trying to look that ugly. I look like a potato on it. Look like a potato. <laughs> yeah. A warm potato. A baked potato. A warm potato. Yeah. Baked potato. But... <laughs> yeah. He's he's he told us a few stories. He told us that story. And he said that was the last time you ever tried that. <laughs> oh, yeah. I learned my lesson on that one. That <laughs> was also, I bought the motorcycle the night before, and we were only about three hours from home, and I dropped it out on the, a ramp. <laughs> a brand yeah, new bike. <laughs> People were laughing at us. Is that like is that like uh, buying a new pair of shoes and having somebody step on them so you just get it out of the way? Yeah, that might be <laughs> Bought a brand new pair of shoes to be honest. <laughs> I was always looking for that deal. <laughs> it's always a deal. I don't mind that's it's a deal, right? Right. Yep. Yeah. Sure. But she said she said was telling that she had a pretty good time down there. I did. It was a lot of fun actually. It was it was way yeah. different than Sturgis, but um I almost think it was maybe more fun. But I had fun in Sturgis too, because I actually got to work there a couple of times. Where did you work at? I worked at Full Throttle, and then um, I worked at, uh, I guess you would say, it was called the Tattoo Cellar. And yeah, on Main called? Street. Yep. Mm -hmm. cool. She's uh, she's in a, um, a video. In oh, old, God. <laughs> oh, uh, what's his name? Jackal video. Jack, she's in Jackal's video. Yeah. You showed me that video. Oh. I remember. <laughs> Did you have dark hair? <laughs> Did you have dark hair? Yeah, I did. Oh, mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they came There's up a... and asked me. <laughs> so. Hey. <laughs> what the heck? Yeah, that was the year we went to uh, Yellowstone and did, did quite a bit. We went yeah, a big a long ride. It was a lot of fun. So that it was, was like your my first, first experience with uh, motorcycles and stuff and I mean, he's always been a, into different things whenever I was younger, but like this, mm -hmm. like really stuck. So <laughs> really, that must have put a lot of miles on. Taken off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that was your first and last Sturgis? No, I've been there a few times. A few times. Mm -hmm. Do you always try to work when you go there, or do you just go? Do you go I to have fun? To I think I've worked just about every time I went there. So yeah, I always okay. try to find something to do. Got the doggy. Yeah, oh, we, we, we we showed our fur babies on here a little while ago. What's the name? Is Zoe. Oh, that's a that French. was our dog's name whenever we were younger. Zoe. Oh. <laughs> that's a that's a. a well, he likes that. Bulldog, yeah. Better not stop. <laughs> she, she, she. Oh, she. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sturgis usually always start around um, my father and I's birthday. I was born on his birthday, so it kind of became like a tradition to go almost. Yeah, I think you had a birthday when we was out there, didn't you? August first. August first, yeah. No, it was right before we went out there then this year, this past year. Yeah, I usually yeah. like leave right mm -hmm. on my birthday or right, you know, a few days before out there. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah, ZZ accidentally kicked his router. He was on here. He just texted me saying, I kicked my router. Uh, <laughs> Dave, you going to Daytona? Huh? Is Dave going to Daytona? I'm going. 
Okay. Okay. I got to work. That's uh, when I, uh, I'm leaving on that 48 state trip. Um, I'll probably count the states as I'm going down, but okay. Oh yeah. We're going to stop for Daytona and do Day Daytona bike week and then leave from there okay. and go on a 48 state trip. Where are you staying at? Uh, down there. Mm -hmm. I got a friend, uh, so I'll be at his house in it. Oh, okay. Yard. That's even better. <laughs> there you go. But Very cool. I've I'm stayed here. for many yeah, years. We're all going to get, stay we're all gonna get together. On the beach. Right, right, right. Yeah, we're all going to get together, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Hopefully Absolutely. no breakdowns this year. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I hear you. That right. always sucks. Yeah. yeah so he set, us back, set us back a couple hours, didn't it? Yeah. But you, you were trying to go over and see um, Wade Jennings, wasn't you? Yeah. Yeah, Wade Jennings. Yeah, he's pretty good. Sounds just like Grandpa. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, for sure. So. That's good. Well, Dave, Dave you're going to be on here next week, so we're going to talk about all your trips and everything. and that, That'll be fine. And more gonna, Daytona stuff. I'm going to hit the X button. <laughs> nice to meet you, guys. Nice to meet you. Take care. Bye. 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 <laughs> I'll just do that. <laughs> Help him out a little bit. <laughs> there you go. All right. Well, you know, if you're around for the next videos, you know, you're always welcome to pop in and maybe you think about something you need to throw in there for me. And, and uh, I know Dave's going to be on here next week. And, uh, but uh, like I said, you're always welcome to pop in and, Share good inf information with everybody. You gonna finish You're that bottle right. off? <laughs> well, we've been going for about an hour and a half, man. We'll get ready for this football game. Yep. Yeah. I got yep. about twenty-five minutes. So I'm not a big football dude, man. I'm into racing, man. If I try right. to if you race two rocks on the road, I'll watch it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, well, you know. I you got to have a combustible motor in there. You know what I mean? But otherwise, I love it. I hear you. Yeah, I hear you. I only follow my, my, my home team. That's really about it. I like so. the smell of race fuel, man. I don't know. <laughs> you can smell it. Yeah. See, that's another thing. We need, we need to figure out, like, what's going on over there at uh, the Speedway. and Well, they'll probably over at New Smyrna will probably have the Sons of Speed. Uh, it's a vintage bike race, the old ones. Um, Billy Lane hosted the old boardwalk, board track racers where they get down them old things and race them. They'll get on those old bikes and race them around New Smyrna Speedway, which is pretty cool if you've never been to that before, mm -hmm. um, which is a good time to go because if you go in Bike Tailwood you freaking die from the heat, but it should be nice and cool. Um, and then the guy from, I don't know if you ever watched Moonshiners, you ever seen that show before? I have, yeah. Josh, I've partied with that crazy fucker before. Yeah. That. He, I couldn't could, could could name him. I couldn't name him, but I'm, I'm I watched it too. That dude could ride a freaking bike, man. He is wow. crazy. Yeah, it's worth watching that. There's other things out there you can go see too. I mean, just, but that's a good one to go to. Um, just freaking go there and party, man. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm ready, man. This is what we got seven weeks, man. My ass already left. I'm going to catch up to it. <laughs> I'm ready. I yeah, am. I look water twice local a year. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be We're cool. We're there. That'd be cool. Just leave me alone. Well, I think you answered all my questions. We had a couple of good other extra people on here talking. and We had a good time. A good video, okay. I appreciate you coming yeah. on here. Sure thing, man. I'll be on for the for the next ones. Yeah, we'll, we'll be back here next Sunday. Um 8 p.m. at some point during the evening. <laughs> yeah, there you go. We will figure that out. I gotta talk to Dave and 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 right on and see what's going on. But yeah. Um so I, I appreciate you coming on here. We'll go ahead and end this thing and uh and we're count I'm not counting the days or anything, but seven weeks, man. Get down there and ride in some warm weather.
Oh, I got to do something real quick. You guys got to be quiet and listen to my Frenchie snoring. Okay, ready? <laughs> Shh, listen. Oh, shit. You woke him up. <laughs> I woke that little bitch up. She was snoring freaking logs, man. Okay, yeah, sounds good. I appreciate everybody stopping by in, in the chats and, yep. and, 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 you know, making comments. I appreciate you. And, uh, I'll see you this time, probably next week. I'll be on. Uh oh, let's see what it. I'm trying. I like pina coladas. <laughs> They're tasty. How do you say yes. that name? Is that Dara? Hi, Dara, Dave's daughter. It's Dave's daughter. <laughs> hey, you know, when we're in Sturgis, when we're in Sturgis, we talk about everything. <laughs> we, we, we almost had a um, like a circle every evening out in front of Charlie's uh, camper where we were uh, knocking back fireball, Screwball, not him, not Dave. Dave don't drink. But hey, I think we talked about everything under the sun. He showed me the video, told me about it. Video, told me the story about you riding, uh, uh, getting in that uh, motorcycle outfit. You know the the, the suit. <laughs> Guys, easy. I see you in Daytona for sure. Oh, it's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. I love your dad. Dave's a great oh, guy. We're going to get. Guy. What do I weird feeling? We're going to get in trouble. <laughs> I don't we're know. Gonna get in trouble down here. <laughs> yeah, I've been in trouble a time or two, but I'm gonna hold back. I can't do that shit. I got to be a good boy. <laughs> I don't want to do that. No. You used to be brave. <laughs> yeah. Three hots and a cot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we all had a good time. He's a good guy. You need to For figure sure. out how to get that little trailer of his on the back to be able to go a little faster on the highway. But other than that, <laughs> I need to help, I need Dave to help me out with some projects. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Him and his six, 65 mile an hour pulling that down an 80 mile an hour highway. That's awesome, man. I'm just messing I'm, with you, Dave. I'm, I'm just kidding. Oh, that's cool. Hey, <laughs> how many people build their own freaking trailers? Hey, that's crap? an awesome I thing, man. Right yeah. Now. Hell yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. My, my son's getting ready to uh, go to HVAC uh, next year in the 11th grade. And his backup is because he got to be accepted. And if his backup is welding, it's awesome. But he'll he'll end up learning that too in HVAC. I live in a house with women. I got two <laughs> identical girls, twins, and a wife. No boys, zero, but me and the dogs. One of them. Yep, that's what I'm hoping. I didn't have anybody guiding me when I was his age. And, um, and so I told him, I says, you know, I just, you can do what you want, but you know, you can take advice and, and run with it if you want, but I know it's a, it's a heck of a profession. You know, you don't have to worry about going to college and, and having hundreds of thousands of dollars and, you know, uh, and bills, you know, to pay back. Trade school is all it is. You go to trade school, pick trade something. school. That's it, and it's free. I don't know here in Ohio. He, vocational uh, thing. I went to vocational school is what I did. I took welding. Mm -hmm. I took carpentry. I took I took all the crap I could because I left school early. So I took all the shit I could. So I just did what I could. I ended up working for a city stormwater manager and retired from there. Yes, Triple D. It was way better. We had, I think there was like eight of us. 
that was out there and we just man we did everything we could and and just in the evening we enjoyed each other's company and, and sat back and drank the fireball and the screwball and and yeah, we had a heck of a time. Thank you, ZZ. Uh, missed one. Cool. That's not yeah. I mean it's it's a it's a no brainer. You know, these people these people are going to uh, like these te tech schools. Like he, he can go uh, here here locally at Scarlet Oaks and um and the high school he goes to, well, um, if he's not driving, he's he's already got a driver's license. I mean, he's he just turned six sixteen a month and a half and a, a month and a half ago. He's got a driver's license already. And uh, if he's not driving, or the kids that don't drive can go uh, to, to the to the high school, and they will bus them to Scarlet Oaks, which is a vocational school, and anything that they get accepted for, trade wise, that is pretty much free, um, you know, in, in from the 11th and 12th grade. So you'll have all that done before you graduate, you know, and, 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 it, and some of these guys like these HVAC guys, they can be pushing, you know, doing side work and everything could be pushing six figures, maybe, you know, and you're not going to find, like I, I work in a school and I guarantee you these teachers that work in there, they have doctors in their education They've been doing it for 20 years. It probably takes them that long to get that high. And they've, and they've done paid all of their they, – they got to pay all that college tuition back and everything else. Yep. So it's it's just like nowadays it, you might have to work for a living, work, work, you know, but that, that ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm going to start my own bike painting business. I'm going to start painting bikes. My next step. Thanks, Triple D. Yep. It's five o'clock somewhere. That's right. Oh, All right, guys. Is. You know what? It is quarter to eight. So I appreciate everybody. This is the last one. Yep. Whew. Damn. <laughs> hmm. That's right. Yeah, I'm hoping it pays off for him too, you know, because it's uh you know, that, I, we, we had a long, I didn't, like I would have, I could have done it, but I didn't have nobody there when I was his age to guide me. So I, that's what I wanted to make sure that I did when, with him is look, dude, he, he's talked about other things as you don't want, you don't really don't want to have to go through that, pay off, pay a hundred thousand dollars in tuition back and just pick out something in trade school. Cause you're going to make exactly what these other people are making. Yeah. Mr. Cool Whip, how old are you, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? I am 50. 50, okay. okay. Yep. Later, Gators. <laughs> Later. After a while, Crocodile. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by, ZZ. Thanks for showing up for a video. Good times. Yep. I appreciate you. Appreciate it. Really on here. We just all hang out and just party. We'll have like 40 different little faces on here. You know what I mean? 35. Man, I don't even remember what I was doing when I was 35. <laughs> I'm 57. I'll be 58 soon, any minute. Coming wow. up. All right, guys. Hey, we'll be on here next week. We can pick up where we left off, and and uh, I'll catch you guys later. I'm going to call it in. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. Thanks, Rat Pink. Love you all. Be good. Be safe. Party on, dudes! Party on. <laughs> Rock and roll. <laughs> Peace. Take care, y'all.